hey guys welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to be making a simple circle dress and for this tutorial i'm going to be making use of this beautiful fabric i have right here to make a circle dress you need just two basic measurements which is the bust measurement of the person and then you need the length of the dress so i already have those measurements and next thing we're going to do is to fold our fabric into two right now i'm making use of two yards of um, fabric so i just folded it into two equal halves and um, i realized that i would have made it a little bit longer maybe made use of two and a half inches or three inches so that um, um, I'll reduce the um, amount of fabric I'll have to add to the length of the dress later. Um, you're, I'm going to explain that better very soon. So after getting folded into two, two, you're going to fold your fabric into a triangle again, as you see me doing like this. When you fold it into a triangle, you're going to divide your shoulder measurement by two and for me my shoulder measurement is um 13 and i divided by that by two inches and it gave me something around seven i just decided to mark it out by with seven inches exactly here which is 14 so i'm just making a line right now so this is my shoulder measurement now i'm going to mark my shoulder so like i said earlier my shoulder is 13 inches so i'm just going to mark it here After marking that, I'm going to go down on my shoulder depth by one inch because our shoulder is not straight, so I'm going to make it slant even though it's a circle dress. Then I went out by three inches wide, that's how wide I wanted my neck to be, and I went in by four inches down, so I'm just going to make a curve to get my neckline. So this is my neck i'm just going to connect this um shoulder slope that i already made so this is the shoulder now i'm going to go down my shoulder by um seven and a half inches which is my shoulder depth and i'm just going to make a straight line to make it right here so after marking that i went down by about one inch under that line and i'm marking my bust measurements divided by four but I decided to add extra 4 inches to my bust measurement because this is a circle um, top and it's um, gown and it's usually free. And after marking that, I added an extra allowance for my stitching and then I marked half of my armhole depth and I'm just going to make a curve. Cutting your flare, you might notice that one part of it is not as long as the other. That is actually something that is very normal when you cut a circle dress. Um, you're just going to make the part that is not as long straight, just make sure it's straight, and then the next thing you're going to do is to place another straight piece on it, as you see me doing like this. Just ensure that um, the length that you have is going to get to the end of where the other piece actually is. When you are done with this, just start cutting out the sleeve. Every other thing is like really easy from here. We are going to bring back the actual dress itself. And what I am going to do is to go back to the sewing machine and use a bias tape to pipe up the neck for both the front and back and I am going to join the shoulder, I will hem the end of the sleeve and I will fold the sides of the dress. So after I was done with all of that, this is what it looks like. I honestly was not able to do any ironing while I was making this dress because there was no light. Uh, but this is what it looks like. It's really cute. And you see how full the circle is. See how cute this is, guys. So this is what it will look like. Now, remember that the dress we are following um, actually has um, gathers under it. Although they made use of another color, I'm going to make use of this actual fabric. So I went ahead to cut out 4 inches wide of a fabric. It was really really long. Ensure that it's long enough to cover a full circle because you're going to be pleating it around a circle. So I hemmed one part of it down and let the other one plain. So I'm just going to take this over to the sewing machine and what I'm going to do is to bring the end, the end of my dress. And I'm going to place this piece right on it and I'm going to make gathers as I sew along. So guys, after I was through with that, that's basically all for this dress. Like, 
it's really that simple this is something that i did in less than an hour it's really a very simple project so this is what the end of the dress looks like after i made gathers um you know you can definitely use another color of fabric if you want to for that particular for this end of the dress and i so much love how it came out i also um i made a rope i made a rope for the waist so if you don't want to wear it really free like the way it's usually free you can definitely tie it up around the waist with a rope so um thank you so much guys for watching this video let me know what you think about it in the comment section and please please if you try it out i would love to see it send it to me on my instagram um or you can just send me a message of with um tutorials you would like for me to share on this channel Thank you so much guys for watching the video. I will definitely see you guys in the next one. And I honestly hope that you find this helpful. If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. And please turn on the notification bell as well. Bye.